Okay, good morning. Welcome to EV for You Custom Conversions, Shasta Lake, California facility. We're going to do an overview of the VW Beetle conversion that we offer. This is our marketing vehicle, which is a 1974 Volkswagen Standard Beetle. We'll do a quick walk around and then we'll show you some of the highlights. Nice sunny day this morning. Almost too bright. We'll start with where it all originates from. Onboard charger and of course it connects right here at the logical location. The uh, 110 volt onboard charger will completely charge this pack if it's completely depleted in six and a half or less hours. Under the bonnet we have the uh, charger. We also have two of the 12 batteries. Each battery pack is separately fused and each battery is individually monitored by a pack tracker. There's a main circuit breaker that is located in easy reach of both the driver and passenger. Try to get an angle of the sun here. Show you the back. It's the main battery box, which contains six batteries. The back battery box contains four additional batteries. The batteries are enclosed in a polypropylene box that is vented. The boxes are sealed and have clear polycarbonate tops, quarter inch thick, literally bulletproof. Walk around the other side here and we'll show you the gauges all of which come with the conversion. The conversion comes complete with everything that uh, I'll mention and uh, probably many items that well, I will omit. Um, one of those items is uh, four-wheel disc brakes, heavy-duty anti-sway bar, the boxes are vented uh, passively with vents underneath the vehicle which draw air through. Under the deck lid we have uh, the Impulse 9 motor, the Curtis 1231C controller, your pop box, etc. Everything is laid out in a clean simple fashion. Here you have all of your incoming wires. All your low voltage wiring is in one spot. Easy for troubleshooting, servicing. Your high voltage wires, this is a 144 volt setup, come in right here. Again, everything is clean, simple layout. The heat sink is um, offset from the firewall to allow air to circulate completely around it for additional cooling capability. Curtis recommends a 12 by 12 by quarter inch thick aluminum heat sink. This is 12 by 24 by quarter inch. We add two brushless DC fans for additional cooling. 
and uh, not necessary, but we do it to give you greater longevity out of the controller, especially in the climate that uh, we're in, where we get 110 plus degrees during the summer. The controller and motor run well within specs. The engine compartment is fully enclosed. This is high impact ABS plastic which keeps the uh, engine compartment sealed, keeps debris, water, other contaminants away from the electronics in the motor. It's so Impulse 9 as I think I mentioned earlier. It's the largest motor that you'll get in there without modifying the body. What you can't see is the lightened flywheel and the heavy duty clutch all included. We offset the deck lid. Again, it's not necessary, but we do it for additional cooling for the motor. We've done extensive testing and have found that this allows the motor to run substantially cooler than with the deck lid in its original position. Our conversions also include a hydrometer, uh, insulated wrenches for checking uh, the uh, interconnects, um, uh, multimeter, I mean everything that you would need to own and operate an electric Volkswagen Beetle. We also offer free pickup and delivery of your vehicle within 400 miles of Shasta Lake in Northern California. If you have any questions, you can reach us by email at ev 4 you Inc at yahoo.com Thank you for watching.